my channel i said to everybody on my instagram uh to choose my get ready with me so that involves my hair like what wig i wore my makeup all of that so you guys was voting and now i have to do it so without further ado we're just gonna let you guys dress me basically like i'm a doll the options were blonde pink blue or pastel and everybody basically said blonde so we're gonna start off with hair so i got this wig from nadula hair i think originally it's a 22 inch wig but i did end up blunt cutting the end so i straightened it off camera and everything i ran it through um i dipped it in purple shampoo so i didn't do too much to it i dipped it in purple shampoo just to give it some icy kind of vibes and tinted the lace Inside the wig just comes with two combs at the front and then one at the back and it is just a normal 13 by 4 parting space. Um, it didn't have that much shedding when we was washing it, just a little bit of strands but not too much. So I'm just going to install this wig and see how I feel. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Somebody's trying to set me up. Okay, I think I need eyebrows. If I see my eyebrows, will I feel better? Actually, I think I look nicer with no eyebrows. I'm scared because I'm just like, me and blonde. I've been scared of blonde my whole life. If I pull this off, yeah, I better be at 30k views. If I'm not at 30k views, then there's going to be a problem. Okay, so let's just install it. Oh, I did pluck this slightly as well. But I feel like uh, 613 doesn't need too much plucking. So I didn't go overboard with the plucking situation. I'm just scared man because this could go two ways. I could either look really expensive or really low budget. Okay, so going through this, one thing I've realised is that the lace on this wig is hella fragile. So, yeah, if you're someone who actually knows how to wear blonde wigs and wants a blonde wig, it's fragile lace. I'm not going to have all these baby hairs, so don't even pay attention to it. But yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup and then come back and style it. So makeup's done and it is unlaid. On my YouTube, on my Instagram, I asked everyone, um, everybody voted for like a simple makeup look, which is good because I feel like people who voted for a simple makeup look obviously knew that they wanted me to have blonde. And I don't feel like blonde hair looks that cute when you got 
too much going on in the face we're gonna straighten this baby out it's already quite straight to be honest we're gonna straighten it out a little bit more and like bump the end a little bit i feel like a dolly normally when i have hair even though it's you can tell it's a wig like i still like to try and make it look a little bit like it could be my hair at this point this is definitely never gonna be my hair so i do feel a little bit like super dolly dolly but the color is not bad in real life it is a little bit more yellow on camera it is giving a little bit of like icy vibes which is good i feel like with blondes everybody has their own kind of blonde so this is my first time trying out blonde guys so don't judge me too much At least I can say I've done blonde now, like everyone can just hop off and stop pressurising me to do blonde. At least I can say I've done blonde, it's off the bucket list. I don't know if I'm going to do blonde again. I don't know if this is like one of my favourite colours, but yeah, <laughs> I feel like a doll. <laughs> oh shit. Sign up to be my sugar daddy down below. Guys, I don't think you guys realise how mad this jump is like. My hair is naturally jet black. I just went from jet black to bright blonde. I don't know how to act, sis. Like, I don't know how to act. I'm not mad at it, you know? Like, I thought I was gonna hate it more. I don't think I'm gonna... Obviously, there's not really nowhere to go. Like, quarantine's not there, but it's not really nowhere to go. So I'm not thinking to go out, out like this. Maybe if I was feeling myself, all white party. Hello. This is not half bad. Subscribers. I'm glad that I tinted the lace because tinting the lace made the parting open out. So I didn't have to put no makeup in there. So I would recommend tinting your lace. Even if you're light skin, yeah. Just tint it like slightly with a little bit of like a, the lightest shade of makeup or whatever. Once again, this hair is from the dealer hair. I've had every single kind of hair from the dealer hair now. I've actually had every single kind of hair. So I've now had blonde hair, I've had curly hair, I've had um, straight hair. Did I, have, I think I've had kinky curly hair from them as well. And they always come through. To be honest, on their natural coloured bundles, their, their lace is a bit off. But this lace is very good. Like This lace was excellent, especially to tint. So no problems there. I would say it's just a little bit fragile because the lace was ripping so easily, sis. So I would say look out because the lace can be very fragile. This feels like some proper 613. Like This is my first blonde wig. T look, yeah, technically this is my first blonde wig that I've tried out. So... I'm not mad at it. Thank you guys for choosing this hair colour. Make sure you follow me on all of my socials to stay updated with me and my life. I'm going to do more polls like this. Uh, I'm thinking if we dye this baby pink. I'm thinking if we dye it pink and do a little pink look. Because, you know, pink is the favourite colour or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you guys in my next video. Peace.